All right, we're going to look at y is less than negative 1 9th x. So the first thing you have to do is look at y equals negative 1 9th x, which is really mx plus b. So I'm starting, let me change colors. Uh, I'm going to get smaller. Okay, so I'm going to start at b, which is 0. Okay, that's your y-intercept. From there, uh, the negative always goes with the top, so either rising or falling. So I'm going to fall 1 and go right 9. So fall 1 and go right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, I'm going to connect these two points, and they're either going to be solid or dotted. Anytime you draw a graph of anything, the points you're connecting are the points that make it true. So any points on this line, say, for example, 0, 0, if I were to plug that in, 0 is not less than negative 1 9th times 0. So 0 is not less than 0. So the line itself is not true. Um, and we also know that because this inequality doesn't have an equal sign. So therefore, I'm going to color it in with just a dotted line. Let's see if I can do this here. Oop, I got close enough. Okay, it would be a solid line if all of the points on that inequality would make it true. So there'd be an equal sign there. All right, so the next part now is that this dotted line, or it could have been a solid line, it cuts this whole space into two halves. Either the top half is going to be true, or the bottom half is going to be true. So either to the right or to the left of this line. And the quickest way to figure it out, oops, try that again. The quickest way to figure it out is just pick a test point. So if a point up here is true, then everything up here is true. If a point down here is true, then everything down there is true. Um, we normally pick 0, 0, but we can't because it's on our line. So I'll just pick like this point right here. Say it's 2 up 1, 2, 3. So 2, 3. It doesn't matter what point you pick. So now you plug it in and you want to know if it's a true statement. So y, which is 3, is less than negative 1 9th times x, which is 2. So my question is, is 3 less than negative 2 9 Well, this is false. So that means that this point is not a solution, so I don't color it in, which also means none of these points are true. So since none of these points are true, then all of these points are true. So rather than dot them all in, I'm just going to take my highlighter and shade them all in. Again, if one point's true over here, then they're all true. So basically, I'm plotting every single ordered pair that works. And there's no way to write this um, numerically, like we do interval notation, or you can't write a set of values that make it true because it's two-dimensional. So the only way we can show the full set of answers is graphically.